Hi, today I'm participating in Poetry Thursday. This is a wonderful series I've been noticing on BookTube, and I got some encouragement to participate thanks to David Wiley. If you aren't subscribed to David's channel, please do so. I'll leave a link in the description. But he has done a wonderful job on this series. He has shared some fantastic poetry on his channel. And I am a little nervous to do this because one, I am not a poetry expert by any means, but two, I feel like there's something a little vulnerable about sharing a poem that's meaningful to you. Maybe, maybe it's just me. But in any case, I'm going to share this poem by Rainer Maria Rilke. And I don't know the exact title. I think it's called You Darkness because that's the first line, but uh, here we go. You darkness that I come from, I love you more than all the fires that fence the world. For the fire makes a circle of light for everyone and then no one outside learns of you. But the darkness pulls in everything, shapes and fires, animals and myself, how easily it gathers them, powers and people. And it is possible a great presence is moving near me. I have faith in nights. Mm, I love this poem. I think that in this poem, it's interesting how it, how the poet refers to darkness, because a lot of times I think when we talk about darkness or we think of darkness, we think of the dark side of evil, kind of like Star Wars. <laughs> um, we think of things that are ominous or bad. And I don't think that that's what darkness means in this poem. I, I see the darkness as the unknown and it's the light, everything that is manifest from the light or brought to light that is knowable, but it all comes from this unknown. If you ever just sit around at some point, I don't know if any of you ever do this, but sometimes just kind of look around for a moment and think, whoa, how did all of this come to be? How am I here? How, where does all this come from? It, it just seems like there's this unknown quality to it. Even just like noticing your thoughts and where those arise from, like there's this unknown thing about us and about life and we'll never know the unknown we only know what we project into it and a lot of times we project our deepest fears into the unknown we think of the unknown as some horrible thing but in this case the poet is embracing the unknown is loving the unknown i love you more than all the fires that fence the world because it understands that the unknown and the known aren't so separate that they, they come from one another. Um, and I just love that, that the darkness pulls in everything, um, shapes and fires animals and myself. So I'd love this sort of expansive idea of pulls in everything. I mean, even if we want to just think about the vastness of the universe and what's beyond that, just the unknown that's there. But then it goes into, and it is possible, a great presence is moving near me. So Maybe the unknown is way out there, but maybe it's also just right here. It's so close. And there does, does seem to be something there. There does seem to be something to the unknown, something present about it, a presence moving near me. I love that. I have faith in nights. So I love this poem because I see it as a way to have a new relationship with the unknown rather than seeing the unknown as this horrible foe to see it as a friend, to embrace it, to love it. And I just think that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And I that's why I wanted to share this poem because I found it very meaningful for that reason. But of course, this is just one uh, amateur's interpretation here. So please feel free to offer your thoughts on this poem if you're familiar with it, or even, even if you're not. If anything else comes to mind with it, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.